we have given fog a, another dimension than just uh, uh, something that delays an airplane. It is also and equally something that can uh, be used to save communities from non-accessing water. I am Jamila Vargash and I am rethinking water scarcity by harvesting fog water in Morocco. <laughs> foundation Dar Sihmed is a foundation that was uh, created in 2010 in southwest Morocco. The communities we work with in the region of the Aizba Amran, which is the end of the anti Atlas Mountains, are absolutely amazing people, wonderful people. And so all the projects that we do are for the benefit of the community. Foundation Dar Sihmed is mostly known for its pioneering project, the fog collection initiatives, fog harvesting. There has been many programs over the years to provide all of the Moroccans uh, with running water. It has been extremely difficult to actually deliver water to all the communities, especially the mountain communities. And so this project has actually found a solution that's local, that is seasonal for sure, it has its own limitations, but it provides water to the communities so that they remain in their ancestral lands, so that there is a sense of sufficiency for uh, water, and because without water, no community can live and thrive. At this time, we have actually uh, 16 villages, and those villages are located in a very specific region because of the fog and how it travels and how it moves. However, we are in the process of expanding the project, and hopefully we will uh, connect at least eight more villages, if not 12, depending on the funding that we have. The technique for fog collection is uh, actually very simple. If you think about a volleyball net, and uh, that in the morning you find wet uh, because of the humidity that collected in the nets and then it dripped down. So it's the same principle. But the difference is that it is designed to actually catch the fog and get as much water out of the fog as possible. And then with the force of gravity, the fog droplets descend into a throw. And out of this throw, uh, they go into a container. And then with the power of collection, we get um, hundreds of tons of water. So fog water is a pure kind of water because it is collected from air. Uh, it has no minerals. And the uh, Moroccan regulations and stipulate that water needs to have mineral salts in it. And so what we do is that we have an underground water that we pump uh, with um, uh, solar panels and we mix them because we absolutely need to have the minerals and the salts in the water that we provide to the communities for drinking. In 2010, we did a, uh, a baseline study in which we discovered that the mean average consumption of water within the community was about six to seven liters per person per day, which is, according to the World Health Organization, WHO, is a level of anxiety for communities. The uh, women were not drinking enough water, then you will not drink because you will privilege giving water to the elderly, to the children, and also to the animals. And so there has been an amazing increase in the quality of life. And then there is a symbolic aspect to all of this, which is the fact that because of the news, because of reports, these images have been going back to the communities and they feel a sense of pride and ownership of the project. Of course there are alternatives. Um, there is uh, deep aquifers uh, that we can pump. The groundwater and the deep underground water is limited because there is very little rain, so it doesn't recharge. When we do the digging, we go further and further down in the earth. So can you imagine the amount of oil and extractive technologies that we're using to be able to access this water? So it is a very expensive and uh, ecologically 
dangerous and potentially destructive solution to keep digging the earth. Then there is another solution which is the desalination of uh, seawater. But again, you know, what's the price that's involved in building a plant for desalinization and for uh, pumping the water to the communities? So if we are to compare all of these uh, techniques that do provide solutions, we will find that actually fog, relatively speaking, is a simpler solution. It is less expensive but it has its limitations for sure. But it is a solution that has worked and that can be managed locally. I know that the future wars are about uh, water, that uh, there is a sense in which water is extremely precious and that there is a need to protect it. I'd rather stay with this optimistic outlook on the future of water in that uh, we will be able to design grand solutions to manage the water that we already have in terms of recycling and reducing the pollution and the pollutants that we put in uh, our water. Mm -hmm.